Hi, I'm Nika Harper and welcome to Wordplay. We made it to a second episode! Oh. So in case it's been burning in your mind, the subject of Wordplay number two is actually poetry. Not just any kind of poetry, free verse poetry. So what exactly is a poem? Generally, it is an expression of emotion and it's characterized by heavy imagery and aesthetics of language. So it's meant to be emotional and pretty. When we think of poetry, we might think of something with a rhyme or a meter, which would be like a rhythm or a cadence, and free verse doesn't have anything like that. The free verse style became especially popular when people like Walt Whitman started using it during the Transcendentalist movement, and of course also nowadays Toby Barlow, which wrote one of my favorite books, Sharp Teeth. Oh, I love it. Shh, you're my favorite. It's a pretty divided camp in terms of opinions. Uh, people who like free verse, poets. People who don't like free verse, uh, poets. Put that all behind us, we're gonna do it anyway. We're really gonna piss off Edgar Allan Poe. Now you guys submitted prompts for us to write about in this session, and some of my absolute favorites this time was a Time Traveling Muffin by Ricky D, Demanding Paperclips by Catherine, Monochromatic Rainbows by Maleficent, and Peter Kane hadn't really wanted to join the Space Academy, and that was from Wild Ride. The ones I, I couldn't help but I had to write on were The Tiny Beautiful World of Insects by Tebow, Triumph from Stephen, and Broken Glass sent in by Brad. With those prompts in mind, I wrote a little free verse and I would love to share a little bit of it with you. This one is called Breakthrough. In the deepest linoleum night, under fluorescent clouds and particle horizons, the silence and stillness is only broken by the whispering flutter of wings and occasional chirps as legs rub against legs. I am there to hear them. I haven't written free verse in what seems like a really long time, but I'm surprised at how natural it felt to kind of chop up the lines to really get an emotion across more than actual exposition. It topped out at about 87 lines, which is pretty much way longer than I expected it to be, which is a great problem to have. Statistically speaking, Poe said that the best poems were around 100 lines, so maybe I didn't piss him off as much as I thought. Yes, this poem does revolve around a certain emotion, but I'm not going to tell you what that one is yet. I don't want to spoil it, so go to my Tumblr or to the Geek and Sundry forums. I'm going to have it posted there. So that one's mine, but I have a feeling that you guys want to participate as well. In fact, I have a feeling that's why you're watching the show. So there's your challenge. Do a 50 line poem about the topics of, let's see, memories and the reason it isn't there. And those were sent in by Dat and Pete. Feel free to keep it to yourself or send it to your friends or share it on the Geek and Sundry forums with us. We want all different languages and all different skill levels. It's a word party. If you like the video or if you like poetry or maybe like minty green star things, also press like. Get it? Because, like, you like things? You can subscribe to the Geek and Sundry Vlogs channel for more vlogs about interesting things. Like, look, look, they're everywhere. You can see them right now. I can't wait to see what you guys create. Right on. True story, Nika was an extra on Guild Season 2 and gave us all massages. She is a very, very talented lady. So please like and share her video to support. Oh, and subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys on the forums.